Oh, you don't think it's a bit loud? No. It compliments your eyes. Mm -hmm. I don't prefer the blue one. I mean, it's a bit more understated. It makes you look like a Tory councillor. Ian Roger, wonderful to see you. It was a fantastic play. But there is a twist, isn't there? I mean, it starts off as a, you know, you hear the barking of dogs and the yelping of hounds, and it's about companionship and two elderly gentlemen getting to know each other. And then, Ian? I'm not going to tell you, <laughs> but because, well, you know. Uh, the, the you remember give, us a, give us a hint of what happens then. Oh, I see. It becomes well, a I, think my, I think my character falls in love. Yes. And, and I don't know about yours, Roger. Oh, I think he does. Oh, I God. think Frank I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah. It's but your character is, is gay, oh, oh. and we discover that, you know, I don't know, half an hour in, and then your character is bereaved. Yes, they, they do get together, but, I mean, that's also about loneliness, I guess, yes. you know. A 91-year-old gay friend of mine came into Roger's dressing room, and he had tears in his eyes after the performance. Are you all right? He said, yes, but this play gives me such hope. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Well, what about this one? Oh, yes, that's very dashing. Mm. Well, I haven't heard that word for a long time. I'm bringing it back. Yeah. Can you imagine having put on this play, acted in this play, 20 years ago, no. 30 years ago? 10 years ago. 10 years ago. But when, 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 when the two of us get uh, nicely intimate in this, sometimes there are whoops of joy. Yes. Not from a gay, exclusively mm. gay audience by any man, it means, mm. but just uh, theatre girls who are happy to see uh, affection openly expressed. And uh, it just seems to me that the, the nation, at least as far as theatre girls are, are concerned, have turned a corner and, and are racing ahead to the future in, in a way that we couldn't have imagined. So on one level, you know, society's moved on. We can have a play like this in London in 2023. You get, you know, a standing ovation from the audience. On the other hand, you've got the Home Secretary today, Suella Braverman, giving a speech in Washington where she says, just because you're gay or a woman doesn't mean you're automatically received as a refugee in this country. Well, that's a very, very broad statement, and it sounds to me uh, as if it's... Uh laced with a good dollop of, of, of prejudice and hoping that she's going to get a few votes because of it. There are many countries, aren't there, like uh, <laughs> certain people in uh, China and, uh, and uh, Russia who said there are, and Iraq, there are no gay people in our country. Yeah. Well, when you've got that sort of stupid attitude, uh, then that can lead to great cruelty. And if someone's escaping from that, then they ought to be welcome to this country where we don't have the same attitudes. Will I be going upstairs? Well, that's where the bathroom is. Oh. And the bedroom, of course. Of course. Do you know, I think I'll get this one, if you say it brings out my eyes. It does. I like it. Although there is a, a, a bit of an intake of breath when you realise the relationship is about to happen because you didn't expect it at the beginning, yes. yeah. it is normal, it is very normalised and it is very affectionate and it's very loving. Mm. And funny. Uh, th and that, funny. That's what oh, yes. attracted you. We don't make, want to make it sound too earnest. Yeah. It is also very funny. No, I mean, the, the, uh, when I first read it, when Sean Massas, our director, sent it, <laughs> to me. I found myself laughing out loud, which is unusual when mm. you're reading something. And then, of course, I started speaking it out loud and making myself laugh <laughs> even more. I when mean, you had yeah, the same yeah, experience, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. It's a great job, isn't it? This? How it long have you known yeah. each other? Well, we met about 40 years yeah. ago, but we, we became, I think, really good friends. Um, Later on, when we did a panto, which is nearly 20 years ago, and shared a dressing That's got to make a friendship, hasn't it? A, a good <laughs> ah, panto. Yes, and sharing a dressing ah, room. Ah, yeah. right. He was playing okay. the villain, and I was playing the dame. Yes. He had more of the dressing room than me. <laughs> <laughs> it still rankles, doesn't <laughs> it? doesn't rankle. Doesn't really. It's just worth did saying. Did you measure it out? Did you measure it out? <laughs> Roger and Ian, Frank and Percy, thanks very much. Ah, thank you.